When the U.S. announced in late October it was cutting off remittances to Cuba, Western Union had expressed hope it might be able to find a solution to the planned sanctions before they took effect. The company couldn't. The money transfers are scheduled to end this week. The U.S. move aims to further limit sources of U.S. dollars to the island, in this case family remittances, on the pretext that Western Union's partner in Cuba is a military control entity which takes advantage of money transfers sent to Cuban families. Obviously, the measure will have an impact, since we are talking about 240,000 daily money transfers, amounting to more than $2 million a day, no longer collected here through Western Union. The Cuban government blasted the U.S. measure, calling it a criminal act against the families on both sides of the Florida Strait. Earlier this year, Washington had already restricted Western Union's transfers to Cuba only from U.S. territory. But now they hammered the last nail in the coffin by forcing the full shutdown of the service. It's not fair that they are affecting thousands of Cubans, not only myself, but thousands of families who depend on these remittances. This is too bad because it affects the assistance that our relatives can provide us with. And I do not know if there is an alternative for this. It seems to be the end of all of it. The Western Union says it has no indication when this situation might be resolved. Cubans hope the restrictions imposed by the Trump administration could be dropped with a leadership change in the White House. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.